Now, Dabur has also come out with its first quarter earnings. Uh, the counter is still uh, higher by about 0.56 odd percent. As we speak, profit has come in at 261 crore rupees versus 255 crore rupees. That was the expectation that we had from Dabur earlier. And uh, of course, here the rural demand and the urban demand is going to be an important thing to watch out for. The volume growth will be an important thing to watch out for as well. Sales have come in at 2060 odd crore rupees versus 2065 odd crore rupees. So that's uh, pretty much in line with what really expected. I'm trying to uh, find the release and get more details as far as the uh, updates as far as Daba is concerned. Remember the volume growth here of course is going to be uh, really important. The stock is pretty much the same where it was. So we're not really seeing a, a significant reaction coming into the stock at least for the moment. It's uh, pretty much where it was. 296 odd rupees per share and uh, the numbers, uh, at least the initial numbers that we've got, they are looking in line with what really we expected uh, them out to be, uh, about 0.73 odd percent. So it is trying to find some support to move upwards because uh, since they are meeting the estimates that the analysts had, uh, so the street is uh, trying to analyze and probably give a thumbs up. So the initial numbers are in line with what we really expected. 2069, yeah, it's even better than last year, Anisha. Yeah, the consolidated same Revenues are up 10.7% at 2064 crore rupees. Net profit is coming at 261 crore rupees. The EBITDA is high by about 21.6%. So uh, we've seen a strong growth coming in uh, for the EBITDA. I'm still trying to figure out if they have given a figure for their volume growth. Uh, yes, 11. Uh, they're seeing an 8.1% volume growth. Now, we were expecting uh, volume growth to come in around 9%, so uh, volume growth is slightly lower than what is expected, but then for FNCG companies, the going has been tough, and uh, Darbert has traditionally had uh, volume growth of about 8-9%, so uh, perhaps not such a big miss. Pankaj has more details. Uh, Pankaj, the FMCG business was high by 10.6%, and they're saying the volume growth was about 8.1%. How will the street read these numbers? Well, 8.1% is not bad, not good, Anisha. 8.5 uh, uh, to 9, what was the street was estimating. So uh, it's in line, but there is a negative bias over there. But, you know, for a company like Dabur, uh, there are a lot of businesses that they operate in. So which business has not done well, we'll have to wait and watch. But overall, uh, these numbers are good. Yes, there is a slightly higher other income. Advertising expenses has been higher. Uh, overall, PAT number has been uh, good sales numbers at the bottom of your screen are also looking in decent in line with estimates and probably you know uh, it just tells you that numbers are absolutely in line yes the volume number that you said was slightly lower but at the same time EBITDA has come in at 321 crores EBITDA was estimated at 317 so that's a number uh, which is uh, you know largely a decent set of numbers overall absolutely in line uh, there is there is nothing much to cheer about but at the same time there there, there is nothing that you know one would be disappointed also with Dabur numbers De good decent set of numbers they have been declaring decent set of numbers for a while now 8.1 percent volume growth that you said probably looks in slightly lower than estimate but it's it's a decent number uh, it, it 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 will you know still not uh, dampen the sentiment on the street you know Right, and absolutely in the release, some commentary of the management going forward, the company is going to be focusing on cost efficiency and pursue an aggressive and profitable growth strategy. Uh, they continue to strengthen the business for the long term uh, by driving innovation and investing behind the brands. Uh, with these initiatives, the company is confident of growing ahead of the market and improving the market share. Uh, the street has not really uh, given a thumbs up sort of a thing as far as Dabur is concerned. Uh, the counter is managing to be in the green now, it's into the red so there you have the reaction coming in as well so it is trying to analyze what really one should be making out of the numbers Q and EBITDA has come in it's up 21.6 odd percent revenue up 10.7 odd percent at 2064.1 odd crore rupees net profit has also uh, uh, gone up and it's about 261.1 odd crore rupees versus 255 odd crores that we expected uh, from the company uh, in fact, if we talk about the net profit, that has shown a growth of about 23.9 odd percent. It was about 210.8 odd crore rupees earlier. If we talk about various categories, then toothpaste business uh, was something uh, which has shown strong growth, led by strong demand by Dabur to red paste and miswak. And uh, toothpaste business, in fact, has ended the quarter with a growth of about 24 percent. OTC and ethical business uh, uh, ended the first quarter with about 16.7. Uh, 
10% growth. Food category has reported a growth of about 15 and a half odd percent. Hair oil category has shown a growth of about 13%. Shampoo business has shown a growth of about uh, 11 and a half odd percent, and home care business shown a growth of about 12 odd percent. Uh, so there you have, uh, and there were some disruptions in overseas geographies as well. So of course we'll have to really wait and watch, and we'll also try and understand what has been the distinction like urban uh, volumes and the rural volumes have been for the company. Let's take a quick break. We'll get you more. Let's return.